Hey everybody, John Abdo here. This is it, almost 550 pages. It's about the life of Milo, Milo of Croton. I heard about this guy when I was a little kid, but my father used to work out in the basement. And he told me that the way you get strong is by lifting a little bit more every week. It's a slow but steady increase. Milo lifts a calf. His father obviously encouraged him like my father encouraged me. Milo's father's name is Diotimus. And what an incredible character Diotimus is. Diotimus is like a super fantastic, unbelievable human being. And the people of his time revered him as a son of Apollo. He was that great. He did fantastic things. And they revered him as a son of Apollo. That's not myth. That is in actuality. Great people were given demigod names, names of the gods, or saying that they were brothers or sisters and the best was the son of or the daughter of. Son of Apollo, the people chant, Lord Diotimus, son of Apollo. The calf that he's lifting right there is 88 pounds. Newborn calves are 88 pounds. But then look four years later and incrementally all along the way from 88 pounds all the way up to plus one ton. So that's Milo carrying the bull. And he's not just lifting it. I mean, you could see in his, his stance, he's walking. <laughs> he's walking around his neighborhood He's not just like walking, like, oh, there a couple of steps with this thing. Or it's like, you know, taking a heavy weight off a squat rack or, you know, in some kind of a uh, power cage. He was able to, like he did with the calf, he was able to walk around. He'd walk with the calf around the village. And as he got older, he'd walk around with the bull around the village. Now, can you imagine living in that town and seeing this little kid, hey, Milo, go ahead. One day you're going to be able to lift him when he's a bull. Yeah, right. And then all of a sudden, it's like, hey, I think Milo is going to lift the bull. We've been telling him he's going to lift the bull. He doesn't know that we really don't believe in that, but he, he believes in that. As the maturing teen easily lifts the newborn calf, Milo begins to envision carrying a one-ton bull and heavier. His cerebral sensors activate his hypothalamic, pituitary gonadal access, signaling a cascade of glandular secretions conducive to amplifying his anabolic metabolism. Nervous pathways begin to proliferate all sectors of his anatomy, prepared to innervate his muscle fibers so as to have them endure the mightiest of flexions. And the reason why Milo is naked, all athletes in the Olympiad Games competed naked. They couldn't wear anything. They were able to wear a condesign. A condesign wraps the propitial sheath, the foreskin, on the penis. You pull it and you tie it at the end of that to keep the glands of the penis or the penis head inside and not to be shown, not to be shown in public. In other words, you have to hide the head of your penis. But testicles, let them dangle. Show them off. Milan, this fine statue of a fine man. He won seven times at Pisa and never dropped to his knees. Simonides. In antiquity, Milo of Croton is regarded as the greatest Olympiad wrestler of all time. Some say he won five Olympiad games. In the book, I write seven because some people do say seven. The great Milo of Croton, whose floriate occurred in the second half of the 6th century BC, is said by Simonides that Milo won seven times at Olympia, including once as a boy. This book is dedicated to the greatest Olympiad combatant of all time, the greatest wrestler of all time. Milo of Croton, a famous 6th century BC athlete, is undoubtedly the most celebrated sportsman of the ancient world. Milo of Croton, his name has remained extant for over 2,500 years. Thank you for listening. Have yourself a great day, and we'll catch up soon. Thank you.